Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. So kids, our story for today is called Suro and Owl's Secret. That's right kids, Suro and Owl's Secret. Say it with me one more time. Suro and Al's secret. Great kids, good job. Let's get up into our story. There is a jungle in the African country of South Africa found in the continent called Africa, where Tsuro, the clever rabbit, went to visit one winter. South Africa. Tsuro was excited to see his friends and family in South Africa. He took Babu the baboon with him, since they were very close friends. Even though Tsuro always liked to play tricks on Babu all the time, kids. He did this all the time. When they reached the jungle, Tsuro and Babu did not find any rabbits, crickets or insects. The jungle was very quiet. It was spooky. They only saw big animals like lions, springboks, and zebras. They met one zebra along the way who stopped to talk to them. She looked very worried. What are you doing out here in the open? She whispered. Huh? Tsuro asked. What do you mean? Babu also asked. Babu and Tsuro were very, very confused. You, rabbit, you need to hide immediately before they find you. The zebra did not even stop to explain. She just galloped away in fear. Tsuro and Babu were left even more confused. Nevertheless, they were too afraid to be alone in the jungle with just the big animals around looking at them in a funny way. They walked fast and reached Tsuro's family under bush and barrel. Rabbits like to live in hidden places near or under the ground. However, as they entered the underbrush, Tsuro and Babu saw that all the small animals and insects they did not see in the jungle were gathered there. All of them looked very scared. When they saw that it was just Tsuro and Babu who had come, they relaxed and came to greet them. Tsuro was very happy to see his family and all the other small animals and insects. After they rested and ate food, Tsuro asked the animals why they were hiding. Nungu the hedgehog answered, Oh Tsuro, it is because our new king Zizi the owl, he came to live in our jungle a few months ago. When he arrived, he made himself king over all the animals. However, he is a very scary and very, very cruel king. He made a law which says that all animals which are small are for him to eat and do not deserve to live here in this jungle. Ever since that rule, we have not been free because he and his friends have been hunting us, our friends and our children. Oh, it's terrible, Zuro. It's terrible, really. Many of us have lost our loved ones. Now, we cannot go to look for food and we are starving. We are now planning to move away from this jungle and go far away. The animals began to cry. Tsuro was very sad and angry when he heard this. He wasn't happy at all, kids. King, he said with outrage. He just came here and made himself king? Why did you all animals and the big ones too let him rule over you just like that? Why can't you remove him? All of you can. Why can't you remove him? Tsuro asked. Babu nodded in agreement. Gonzo the field mouse replied. Because he has very sharp horns. And unlike the other animals, 
paws with horns, he can fly too. So he is the strongest and fastest of all the animals. He has horns to row us in disbelief. An owl with horns? I have never heard of such a thing. He has. All the animals agreed. We have seen them. Turo looked at them all and saw that they believed Zizi the owl had horns. They actually believed Zizi the owl had horns. So he waited until all the animals had gone to sleep at night and woke Babu. Babu, Babu, wake up! He shook Babu. Babu opened his eyes sleepily. Zuru, why are you waking me up? I want to sleep. Why, why are you waking me? He complained. Because this is what is causing the animals to be afraid to chase away this Zizi, who is clearly a bully. We need to help them, Zuru explained. Oh, Zuru, Babu complained again. God will look for the horns tomorrow. No, Zuru replied. We need to go and take time to watch Zizi closely tonight. You know that owls are nocturnal animals like some of my family across Africa. They are active in the night and sleep during the day. So we have to wait for him in the night to catch him. But Zuru, Babu complained again. Owls fly. How will we follow him from the sky? Don't worry about that, Zuru said confidently. Just follow me. Zuru knew that all animals need food and they all hunted or ate different things. More importantly, he knew that all animals need water, whether during the day or night. And unlike food, water can only be found a few places in the jungle. In this particular jungle, there was just one watering hole where all animals went to drink or cool off. That was the only place where they found water. So, he hid behind a bush together with Babu. The two of them patiently waited for a long time as they watched all the other nocturnal animals come to the watering hole to drink or cool off. They saw panthers, wild cats, and many insects who were still afraid of being found by Zizi and his friends. When it was close to midnight, it became very quiet at the watering hole. Babu was falling asleep. Just then, Turu heard a movement up in the tree close to the watering hole. He looked up and saw that Zizi had landed in the tree with a lot of other owls and other birds. Turu looked at Zizi's head and indeed saw two things standing at the top of Zizi's head which looked like horns. With Zizi's big eyes, large beak and strong claws, Turo could see how the animals were terrified and thought he had horns. You must stand guard and make sure no one sees me at the water, Zizi ordered other birds. Remember, if they find out, we lose our power to rule and we will lose a jungle where we can hunt without anyone questioning us. He knew that there was something Zizi was hiding. He was glad he had been brave enough to come and hide to find out the truth. He woke Babu up and together they watched silently and quietly as the other birds stood guard while Zizi stood, went down to have a drink and wash. Turo watched closely as Zizi started drinking water. He dipped his beak into the water, then lifted his head to swallow. He did this again a couple of times, then he stepped into the water and wet his feathers a little. Then he lifted his feathers to rub his head and his face. Now, most birds do this when they wash themselves. But as Zizi did this, his wings went over his head and the two horns on his head bent and folded just like feathers. Turo smiled, kids, at the last. 
after spending the whole night waiting, he had uncovered the secret behind the horns. He didn't panic. He and Babu waited until Zizi and his friends left the watering hole, then back to the underbrush and slept peacefully. The next day, Turo sent word around to all the animals of the jungle, calling a meeting at the watering hole. He wanted everybody to be around to hear what he had to say. He promised everyone that he had a very nice song to sing for the king. By the time the sun was up, all the animals had gathered at the watering hole. When Zizi heard that Turo Wait wanted to sing a song for him during the day even, he was very irritated and angry, kids. He did not like that at all. When he arrived, he found all the animals gathered around Turo. Yo, Zizi said to Turo as he stood in front of Turo, looking very important. Who gave you the authority to come into my jungle and call meetings in the middle of the day when I am sleeping without my permission? I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't you know that all small animals are food for me? I am going to eat you right now. The animals were afraid, but Zuru was very calm. He was even smiling. He replied Zizi. Oh, my king, I apologize for disturbing you. My name is Turo. I am a humble rabbit. I travel all over Africa searching for the strongest kings in all jungles. I came here because I heard about your mighty horns. Now, you can eat me, but first, I and my friend Babu would like to sing you a song. Hmm... Zizi was so happy to hear this, so he said to Zuro that he could sing. Zuro started. They always say the all has horns. 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 Sizi was smiling when he heard these kids. He even started dancing. Can you imagine that? He was loving the song. But we started coming to the song as well, singing. They are not horns, they are not horns, it's just feathers, oh, oh, they are not horns. At first, Sisi did not realize that the lyrics of the songs had changed. The animals heard it and they stared at Sisi in disbelief and shock. Tsuru and Babu kept singing and Zizi kept dancing. The other animals started coming in close to Zizi to see his horns. Zizi was having so much fun that he did not see Lundi the lion come close to him. Lundi grabbed one of Zizi's wings and that is when Zizi yelled, Ah! He now saw that all the animals were looking at him. What is this? He screamed. Stop this nonsense! I'm your king! But no one listened to him. Turo walked over and touched Zizi's horns and they bent kids just like feathers do. Everyone was shocked. Oh, they couldn't believe that Zizi's horns were actually not horns. They were feathers. You lied to us, the animals screamed at Zizi. They were very angry. You abused us and you were treating us bad. Get out of our forest. Get out of our jungle. Zizi was so afraid and started crying. He had never imagined that the animals would come together to fight him off like that. Lundi the lion tossed Zizi so far away and his friends followed him, running away screaming. There was a huge cheer as the bad birds left. Yay! Yippee! Hooray for Turo! Hooray for 
Turo! The animals cheered for Clever Turo for standing up to a big bully and helping them be free in their jungle again. The end. Well, kids, this is the end of our story. Be sure to catch another exciting animal tale from Jungle Tales. And remember to a song. They always say that all has horns. They always say that all has horns. And remember Babu's song. He are not horns. They are not horns. It's just feathers. Oh, oh, oh. they are not horns.